In this video, in just a few minutes, I will show you how to use Microsoft's new to-do app in a very simple way that will allow you to successfully manage all of your to-dos. And note this, this app has a lot of useful features that can be confusing at first, but you only need to use a few of them, at least at the beginning, to instantly get control of your to-dos. And that's what this video is for, to give you a fast and simple start. Hi there, this is Michael Lindenberger, and I'm the author of seven books on task and email management. Watch this video to learn more about To-Do. To-Do has four different platform variants, the web, Windows 10, iPhone, and Android. We are going to use the web browser version, at least at the start of this demo, since it's so flexible and will work on any platform. It'll work on a PC, a Mac, Chrome OS, etc. But all the other variants of To-Do are nearly identical and they sync well with each other, so you really can use any of the versions you like. One warning though, if you are currently using Outlook Tasks with start dates, then before you start using To-Do, take a quick look at Lesson 3 in my video collection about Microsoft To-Do. It could save you some heartache. That free video is not on YouTube, by the way. Rather, it and many other To-Do videos are available at this link. All right, let's get started. To launch To-Do on the web, simply type this address in the address bar on your browser, and then depending on whether you've used To-Do before or not, you might have to create a free account or sign into a free account. This is the To-Do window. It normally starts in this pane called My Day. Now, how wide you size this window will affect the way it looks. For example, in this case, let me bring up some tasks. And then let me click on a task. And these are the three main panes in the to-do window. You've got the menu here in the left. You've got the task list in the middle. And then you've got the detailed editing window for each task that's selected one at a time. But look what happens when I resize my window down smaller. The menu gets collapsed down to a set of icons. The task list is in the middle and you can't see any details. Now that's okay. I like doing this because it's easier to show it next to my Outlook window and to other applications while I'm using tasks. That way I can keep my task list visible at all times. And all you got to do to activate the menu is to click at this icon here, and it will overlay and give you a chance to pick one of the items there. And if you click on a task itself, it'll open up that task editing window where you can make edits. And when you're done, simply click down here at the bottom, and that'll give you back to the task list. Let me open the menu again. What this menu shows you is a list of task lists and task list views. You've got my day, important, planned. You might have a couple other things in here. Then you've got this item called tasks, which is what I recommend you use to start with. But if you see this down at the bottom, an invitation to start tracking messages you flag in your inbox, or maybe you see an invitation to link in with your Microsoft planner, what I want you to do is for now, click not now. We'll come back to that in a later video to show you how to use these extra features. Okay, as I said, the main folder list that we're going to use is the task list, the one with the home icon. So let's choose that. And as you can see, you can see a list of tasks here. Now, I see these tasks because they were imported from my Outlook.com account where I had been adding tasks before. If you see a whole bunch of tasks and it's kind of cluttering up your list, look ahead at my lesson on cleaning up an imported task list. Now, of course, the other option when you first open to-do is that your to-do list will open with no tasks in it because you are not linking with any other accounts, and that's fine. Then in that case, you simply want to enter a bunch of tasks now. Now, the way you enter a new task in to-do is you just click on this word that says add a task and start typing, and then hit the return key or click the add button off to the right. And there it is. There's the new task that we just created. Now, at this point, if you only have a few tasks collected, if I were you, I'd pause the video now and do a brain dump and try to get as many current active tasks into your task list as you can. Don't worry about order or dates or priorities for now. 
Just brainstorm and think of everything you need to do soon and type those to-dos in as fast as you can. There's nothing like having a real list of to-dos to think about as you learn about this app. Next, after you have a relatively large number of current tasks here, scroll through them and mark a few of them as urgently due today using the important star at the right. Now, if nothing is ur urgently due today, don't mark anything with the star. And in contrast, if you feel that everything is urgently due today, don't give them all stars. In fact, for now, don't mark more than five total as being important with a star. And we'll come back to that idea in a bit. Next, make sure that the task list is not sorted on anything. For example, you may think that you want to sort by importance like this. Because that forces the stars up to the top. But don't do that because that then messes up your ability to drag, prioritize other tasks. You see, when sorting is applied like this, you can't drag any other task. It simply won't work quite. It'll appear to move, but it won't. So if you see this message indicating that the list is sorted, then click the X here to undo that sorting. That way, when you start to drag tasks, and you release them, they actually will move to their new location. So how do you get the stars task to the top? Well, just drag them up there. So I'm going to put this one at the top. I'm going to drag this starred one up to the top. And then these two as well. Now, one thing you'll notice about dragging tasks in the web version of to-do is that the web version is a little bit cranky about moving tasks. Sometimes it's hard to get it to move. Sometimes it doesn't want to drag. I found that the best way to get it to work in the web version is to click on it and then wait a moment and then drag it about 45 degrees to the right. That seems to unlock it and give you the ability to drag and drop it. Now that said, the other versions of to-do, for example, the Windows 10 version and the iPhone version, the Android version, drag tasks quite smoothly and you won't have that problem. So after you've tried the web version a little bit, I suggest you switch to one of the other versions, particularly if you're on a Windows PC, I suggest you swip, switch to the Microsoft Store Windows 10 version of to-do. It drags tasks a lot easier. Okay, so these top four starred items represent the items that you absolutely have to do today. Next, drag the items below those start items into the order that you want to try to get to them. All right, I've now got my tasks in the order that I want just below the start items. Now, that said, if you have hundreds of tasks in here because you imported from an old Outlook account, then I wouldn't try to sort all of them. I would just work on the top 20 or so tasks and get those in the order that you want. By the way, you can edit a task name by clicking on the task. That brings up the edit window, and then you can change the title of the task up here. And you can add a due date. Now, I recommend you add due dates sparingly. Don't put them on all your tasks, but just those tasks that really have a due date, click here, and then click on when that due date is. And then when you're done making the edits, just click this button down here to close the window. Those edits are saved automatically. After you complete a task, you can mark it complete by just clicking on the circle next to it. A completed task is shown with a line through it. Now, after you have completed a few tasks and they start to build up, you should make sure that you are hiding completed tasks by doing this. Notice they go away. Otherwise, those tasks will build up and distract you from your main task list. So congratulations. You've now created a really good to-do list. You can start working off this list right now. Notice that we used a small subset of to-dos features, and that's the best way to start. I'll show you more to-do features in the next videos, but please limit yourself to these simple features for the next few days. This is the perfect to-do feature set to get started with. There's one more thing, though, before you go. 
There are a few simple rules that you should learn to keep your list under control day after day, week after week, and month after month, especially once you start building up a large number of tasks. You see, many people fail with an automated to-do list once the list gets too large. These rules I'm about to show you will help you to be successful even with a large list. These simple rules come from my book, The One Minute To-Do List, which teaches a to-do list system that really works very well. Tens of thousands of people are using that system right now, and they're using it quite successfully. So here are the rules that I recommend you use when using to-do in this manner. First, don't allow more than five items to be starred as important at any given time. To help with that, reserve the star designation only for tasks that are absolutely positively due today. Be very vigilant on that five starred items max at any given time. The next rule is that in the Narn starred list below, if you have a lot of items there, try to review the top 20 items at least once a day and reorder the top of them as needed each day to make sure your high priority to do's are near the top. What you should do is think of those 20 items as what you want to work on today if possible. These should be things that if you can't get to them today, you at least want to get to them in the next few days. And perhaps some could even wait up to 10 days. But this is your next priority down in terms of tasks that you want to do. Again, as you review these 20 items each day, reprioritize them as needed. Anything below those 20 items... Try to review at least once a week. Maybe set an appointment on your calendar or something like that to make sure you do that. You want to review the whole bottom section weekly so that you can identify something that is becoming more important and drag it up near the top if you do. And that's it. That will get you going on Microsoft To Do in a very simple yet very effective way. By the way, if you're using a Windows 10 PC, as I mentioned before, I suggest installing and using the free Microsoft Store version of To-Do. Dragging tasks works much better in that than in the web version. And that's important when adding tasks to a long list. It makes it easy to drag the new task up to near the top of the list. That's why I use it. And stick with the management principles I just taught you. Even though these principles are very simple, the idea of having only five starred items, for example, they are very powerful principles, deceptively so. That's because they come from my one-minute to-do list system and from its bigger brother, the MYN system. These two systems are perhaps the best to-do list systems out there. I've written eight books about to-do lists and email management, so I know what I'm talking about. And by the way, you can download a free copy of one of my books, the one that's simply titled The One Minute To-Do List. Go to this link and pick it up. You can learn a lot from that short book in a quick read. And on that same page at that link, you'll see some more videos about Microsoft To Do, as well as some other to-do list software solutions. So go there now. There's a whole set of resources there for you to get using. And in any case, start using To Do today in the simple way I just showed you. Don't get too caught up in using a lot of the other features in To Do quite yet. Keep it simple. And then when ready, go to my website link for more explanations on how to take to-do to the next level using features and advanced principles that are in the to-do system.